It's time, once again, ladies and gentlemen, for Dylan and myself to engage in spirited musical activity. Musical activity. We just got back from Dallas, Texas. We were down in Dallas, Texas for the great Dallas International Guitar Show, and we had a fabulous time. Our plane just arrived a little while ago, and we got up at the cracky of dawn, so we're going to be a little weird today. I know that might seem unusual, that we might be a little weird because of tiredness. My wife said, it looks like you have bags under your eyes. Maybe you should wear some makeup. I said, never. That will never happen. Drade will never do it. Drade will never do it. Wear makeup. Drade will never do it. <clears throat> Unless, unless it's the Keith Richards eyeliner. Why not? Look like a pirate. When you look like a pirate, oh, what do you do? scooby dan do. scooby dan do. When you look like a pirate, what do you do? scooby dan do. Glamrock Greg. That's right, Sean. That is correct, Amundo. Michael Burrell, what's going down, Daddy O? <laughs> We're going to do a little shuffle, because we didn't do a shuffle all damn weekend. Do you realize that, Dylan? We did not do a shuffle for our set. We did many other jams. We did a little, you know. Oh. I can remember how to play it. <laughs> it's hard. So many chords. Nice, wholesome chords for the people. Uh, Wes says, I enjoyed your tone shop visit. Well, thanks for coming out, Wes. We had a good old time over there. And uh, it was good, clean fun. Uh, Dave Edson says, hello, Leslie, you beautiful temptress. It does sound like a Leslie. That's my, uh, my uh, that thing right there. The Neo Instruments ventilator, as indicated by Sneakerfoot. When sneaker foot comes, what do you do? Hop doodle do. Hop doodle do. All right. All right, here we go. Thank you. 
duo mayhem can you dig it you're welcome dan for the photo op you are welcome sir thanks for stopping by the kirby's you guys sounded awesome you folks should follow the kirby's on their youtube page they would like to do some live streaming on youtube and they need to lead at least a thousand people to do so and they sound fantastic the kirby's ladies and gentlemen find them why don't you guys post a link on there if you could, so people could go over there and link a Rooney. Link a Rooney. Do 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 He's in the Howies, ladies and gentlemen, that's what he's doing. He's kicking it. <laughs> Monkey Man. You know, those, those chords are funky in that song. Uh, what is it? It's a... Like... <laughs>
with you, man. And I was a little bit. I had to remember it. I had to dig it, dig it out of the bowels of my damn mind. But, uh, yeah, he's in standard tuning on that one. When I was a young and I guess I thought he would be an open G or something, but that's actually in standard standard tuning. Uh, Midnight Rambler, that's also, uh, that's in standard tuning, but that's, uh, that's capo five. What could happen? It's live television. What could happen? <laughs> Did you hear about the Midnight Rambler? Did you hear about him? He's a rascal. Uh... To hear about the Midnight Rambler, everybody's got to. Hear about the midnight rambler, the one that shut the kitchen door. He don't give a hoot of a warning, wrapped up in his black pad coat. He don't get a night of the morning, he spent the time the cop will go. you never seen before I'm talking about the Midnight Rambler Did you see him jump the garden wall? Sliding down the wind so sadly Listen and you hear him on I'm talking about the Midnight Rambler Everybody got to go Well, I'm talking about 
after midnight The one you never seen before version of the Midnight Rambler right off the plane and into your brain. <laughs> Guitar sounds good. It's got, of course, my gristle tone pickups on here from my friends at Fishman. This is the Gristle Master. It is funner with the capo. It is funner with the caper. I could do it without the caper, but it sounds... Can you dig it? Midnight Rambler. It'll get you. Sometimes we just do the do. We're not afraid. You know what I'm saying? We're not afraid to do random things on the internet that live forever. <laughs> yeah. Ah. Manchester, UK nutters are in the house. Greetings to you. That is a neat capo. It is a, um, it is a, uh, Jim Dunlap, my buddy Brian Kehoe sent that to me, and I dig it. I like it a lot. I like it. <laughs> Paul says, never be afraid to do random shit on the internet that lives forever. Manchester, Manchester. Uh, was there a question about the little gristle amps? Yeah, they're not there yet. I, 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 I would think I would get one, and then I, and that would be one about the time they would be at, uh, at Wildwood. They ran calling Wildwood. They ran calling Wildwood. It's only rock and roll. That's a good one too, isn't it? Also in the key of B, oddly enough, isn't it? If I tell my now, I'm a blark and blick and bladder splatter or displayer, would it be enough for your speedle sploidle? Can you dig it? I'm just saying random crazy things now, ladies and gentlemen. We have just returned from Texas. We were down there for the guitar show. We were down there with the KMT. We got a bunch of KMT dates coming up uh, this month. We're headed down, um, we're going to be in Chicago, we're going to be in Fort Wayne doing some stuff. At Sweetwater, actually, we're doing, uh, uh, we're recording some stuff down there. I'm doing a guitar workshop down there. We're doing a recording workshop. Uh, we're playing at Martyrs down in Chicago. 
Uh, we're playing in Toledo on that Monday. It's all on my website, gregcock.com. And, uh, and then we're going to be in uh, Evansville, Indiana at Mojo's Boneyard on that Saturday, the 20th, I believe. And the 21st, we're on a Sunday, we're going to be at the Stable in Bloomington, Illinois. And then we're coming home. Did I buy any new guitars down there? No, I did not. I, uh, I was strong. I was strong. So it's in Maumee, Ohio. It's not in Toledo. Thank you, Sam Stamos, for straightening me out on that. In from the Storm, SR. I don't know if I know that whole song. I know, I know how to play it. Uh, uh. Just came back, baby. Just came back from the storm. Digging in the dirt and picking me up. So cold and lonely. Lying in the rain was a terror deal. So cold and lonely. A windy rain was a terror deal. Thank you, baby. But digging in the dirt and picking me up. That's the part where it goes to. We're doing songs we've never played. That's why it's live on the internet. Yes, I'm learning it as I play it. That's correct. <laughs> da -do, da -do, da -do, da -do. Stoled, cold, and lonely, my motto. Elbar Jones. Ba -do, da -do, da -do. That's a cool rip. I like the part it goes. That's a cool riff. Uh, that's uh, F sharp activity. Doodle -da -doodle -da. My caulk endorsed jam pedal well, waterfall arrived today. Excellent jamming, Paul. You'll be having a good time live with that. My knees hurt asks, is this live? It is. It is. Uh, what's the best course I can buy from Greg as a producer? Well, Pablo, you could attend the recording session that I'm doing down at... Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a recording workshop down at Sweetwater that I'm doing on May 20th. And you can access that through my website or through Sweetwater's website, I reckon. Um, can you dig it? Uh, thank you, Scott Sherman. Sven wants some nick Nickelback. He wants some butt rock. That's not, that's not that, that's, that's another, that's the other, that's Creed, I believe. Will that session be on the internet, Michael Burrell? It, it will not, uh, that's, uh, although we are, we are filming some stuff that will be um, shown later. Uh, some live performance stuff in the studio. Uh, that should be good. Um, SR wants a little uh, somewhere from Jim. I don't remember that one. That's a good one. Uh, all right. You know, we need we need to get the uh, we need to get the cobwebs out. We're just gonna do our boogie, and the boogie goes anywhere. We don't we don't know what's gonna happen. We just do it.
well, sometimes you just got to rock up a little bit. You got to rock up. Uh, someone asked about the signal chain. I, I'll show you. There is the mess. Uh, just basically going into the Gristle King right now. Uh, I do have the analog delay from just a little bit of a slap back, but it just sounds better with everything. Adds a little warm. Clean boost here. Overdrive. And then I'll add a little bit of a long, a slight longer delay. And that's going into the clean channel of my cock amplifier, is what you're hearing right now. Um, yeah, I've had a, a Boss DD3 since 1986, I reckon. Although the one that that very one is on the wall there after many years of pummeling, uh, pummeling. Can you dig it? So how are we doing out there in movie land? How's everybody? Hanging in there. Did you guys have a good weekend? A few of you, I saw them down in, in Texas. I saw it down in Texas. Uh, I have a Made in Japan DD3. That's that rascal right there. Um, that is a Fitbit on my watch. How many calories am I burning on the live streams? I have no idea. Not enough. Uh, great to meet you at the Tone Shop on Thursday. Well, thank you. Thanks for coming out. Adam Baum says it's, uh, it's cloudy and cold in central Mitten, Michigan. Yeah, it's a little cloudy and cold here, too, to be honest with you. Um, and you dig it. Kirby said, enjoyed your clinic. Well, thank you very kindly. Um, the weather in Dallas was awesome on Saturday, without a doubt. It was a little stormy this morning. We were a little worried about our flight, but uh, the, stor the storm cleared out so we could take off. And uh, we actually flew, we had a 7 a.m. flight, and we flew from, <laughs> from Dallas to Washington, D.C., Reagan National Airport, which I like to just call shit show. But, you know, I don't want to swear on the air. Uh, but luckily we got there and, um, our plane was running a little late, but there was probably a hundred, um, grade schoolers on their way to DC, uh, for some kind of a field trip, uh, with their adult staff that was loosely monitoring those children. And, uh, they were very boisterous at an early hour and the kid behind me kept on hitting my seat, but I, I turned it over to, uh, to the great smoke so that I would not turn around and say, child your life is in great danger. Of course it was not, but um, uh, I just learned to ignore it. You know what I mean? I just ignored that vibration that was, well, a literal vibration again and again on the back of my seat at 7 a.m. Uh, but I hope they enjoy themselves in our nation's capital. And they learn so many things. I, uh, we learned that even though we were late, uh, we walked right over to our gate and they were just boarding the A group and we are A-listers, okay? Woo! Living large. Look out now. When you're an A-lister on Southwest Airlines, part the damn seas. Here comes Drade and Dylan. We're coming on board. And, uh, I did not get the extra legroom seat on, uh, the second flight, uh, because some... Dude got it before I, but they that was a pretty generous uh, the first exit time, row. The first time there was a short guy in the in the. Uh, yeah, of course. I didn't see. I didn't see. Uh, I didn't see the the uh, uh, flight attendant go. Hey, these two guys are massive. Hey, Lilliputian, why don't you let these big fellas sit there? They did that once to me. Okay, and I'll never forget it. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm 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 not. I'm not salty about it, but I'm not going to forget it either, okay? That's all I'm going to say. I did carry on my guitar. I did. Um, I watched your entire 30 licks. I tend to do 30 of them and pretend I invented them. Is that okay? Yes, Patrick. Whatever. Once you've purchased that, that delicious course, you can do with as you please. 
You can do it, Thatch, please. Uh, Robert says, I hoped the baggage handlers were kind to your instruments. Well, I carried on my guitar. I had a pedal board underneath, but it was kind of funny when we got in Dallas. Uh, the guy who was the baggage handler came on the gateway real quick and said, hey, I'm a huge fan. I saw your pedal board. I saw it and say hello. I was like, that is so wild because never in my hometown would a baggage handler know who the hell I was. But in Texas, they knew. Not that I'm judging my hometown, but uh, I will say that Texas, they love them some gristle. And I say, God bless you, because I love going down there to Texas and rocking people's brains and eating barbecue. Is there anything wrong with that? Huh? I don't think so. Uh, the Drade never forgets. That's right, Super Denny. Uh, Mike Noonan says, hey, Joe, where are you going with that weapon in your hand? Um, that is a good song. No gristle and barbecue, though. <laughs> it's flooding down in Texas. Oh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, where is home? Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's where we are right now. Greetings from Bogota. Well, greetings to you. We like Gristle and PA. We'll get there sooner than later, doggone it. Uh, we'll get there sooner than doggone later. Mexican or barbecue? It's a tough decision. I say both, Zigzag. Z and Z, I'm going to tell you right now, I'm, I'm down for both. I love John Hyatt, too, doggone it. It was great to catch up with Sonny Landreth down there. I can't wait to, if we're in town when he comes to town with John Hyatt, we're there. Um, Chippewa Falls in the house. Greetings to you. How about it? Greenfield, Bosco Cat in Greenfield. Greetings to you. Greetings to you. But it do 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 do. We did. We Jim C. We didn't get Thai food. We actually had Vietnamese cuisine because uh, Ken and Penny Haas. There's a particular restaurant down there called the Green Papaya uh, that they absolutely adore. So we went there two nights, and I'm not I'm not complaining at all. It was delicious. Oh, delicious indeed. Adelaide in the house. Adelaide, they have a delicious Asian market uh, food court that is unbelievable. That's all I'm going to say. It was one of my favorite parts about touring Australia was going to that Asian food court in Adelaide, just feasting like a beast. Oh, it was so good. One of these days, Dylan, will go and we will feast. Uh, uh, San Francisco Bay Area. We'll get there, Tom. We got, we were there not too long ago. Uh, well, it was actually, it was in January, right before COVID. We were, we were out in that direction. We played up in, uh, uh, Mill Valley. We played at, uh, that Sweetwater Music Hall, Bob Weir's place. And then we did a thing in Felton, which is by San Jose. But, uh, we'll get up there again, doggone it. And we'll get up to CZ uh, Seattle as well. Ever been to Alaska? You know what? That is the last state in the union that I have yet to go to. I've been to every other, well, yeah, every other state in the union. Go see Jesse. Yeah, go see Jesse. Jesse Pinkman. Jesse Pinkman's up there now under the alias of, what was his new alias? I can't remember, but he's up there. Uh, Western suburbs of Illinois. Well, it'll be a while before we do that, but we will be at Martyrs in Chicago on, um, on May 19th. And we're doing that show with Nathaniel Murphy, the amazing Nathaniel Murphy, who you've seen online do his unbelievable two-handed technique, doing crazy solo songs. It's unbelievable. Oh, can you dig it? Hopefully we'll, Sassy, hopefully, oh, Sassy Cat. Hopefully we'll get to Wichita soon as well. Uh, oh, SR is dying for some gym. I do love the gym songs. Ooh, Fox 
Excelente. lady sticks to your damn ribs i like that kind of talk jim c um yes yeah roy would do uh, uh, a little bit of foxy lady and e <laughs> Questions out there today? My brain is a little, a little fried from our great excursion. Dylan, am I right on that? Same. We played. Um, we slayed. We stayed. We ate, and then we got up at the butt cracky of dawn this morning and flew back on a plane full of miscreants to our nation's capital. And we quickly jettisoned over to a Milwaukee-bound flight and flew home. And flew home. Am I a fan of Rory Gallagher? Yes. Was I using Marshalls in Dallas? No, it looked as though I was using those Cat 5s from the angle of the video, but uh, I just used whatever they had on stage, and they had a... Um, I, sometimes I just like using the Clean Channel on a Hot Rod DeVille because I know what I'm getting into. So I used the Clean Channel on the Hot Rod DeVille and used this here pedal board, and that's the sound you were hearing uh, was that very incarnation. Uh, will you demo the little Greg when they become available? I certainly will, Super Denny. I certainly will. Uh, which setting would Roy use on the, on the Gristlecaster? Well, he would use them all because that's, that's what uh, is done. Dallas to D.C. to Milwaukee. Yes, as odd as that seems, Sassy Cat, that's exactly what transpired. Uh, on the way down, we went Milwaukee, Nashville, and Dallas. That's more of a straight line, but uh, hmm, whatever. What are you going to do? And the flights were unbelievably expensive. I'm just going to tell you that right now. Uh, do you know the rare song called Crash Landing? Yes. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I remember how to play it. Um, what was that one? You don't know. It goes back. That's one of the... Oh. Me. You just want to hurt me. So I'm nothing, baby. I can remember that, but that's on that record. That's a good riff, good little Jimmy. 
Uh, you should do a Rory Gallagher Albert's back mashup and while you did a while. <laughs> um, I gotta, my, my brain is not ready for that kind of activity right now. What do you like about Reverend Guitars? Um, well, I love the fact that ergonomically they do everything that, um, well, I don't want to compare it to anything, but for instance, they come with locking tuners, they come with you know, compound radiuses and taller frets. They come with, uh, you know, uh, treble bleed circuits on the volume control. It's like all the tweak stuff you would do to your other guitar, but they already do it. So for me, when, when, I, when I did my um, signature model, they just hit it out of the park. I mean, the features that are on this that I wanted and the larger body, they did everything I wanted to do. If it was a, uh, another brand, it would be thousands and thousands of dollars more um, and, uh, and plus they're good people and that goes a long way with me, doggone it. Good people go a long way with Dreed. Uh, and they come with Fishman Fluence pickups. That's a huge thing as well. I mean, there was some talk early on, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, you know, because I was affiliated with a certain brand for years on end that begins with an F and ends with an R. And uh, I had done these pickups for a Telecaster-type instrument, and I said, hey, why don't we do a little something since, you know, yada, yada, yada. Uh, and there was no interest. Let's just be clear on that. They're like, we have our own pickups. I'm like, I know you have your own pickups. It's not that they don't work with Fishman. The, the, uh, they have them on the, all the Acoustasonics guitars are all Fishman electronics. But for whatever reason, it's all, it's all good. It all worked out for the best anyway. But... Uh, my buddies from Reverend, we came, uh, what happened was is that I, I got a, a Reverend Pete Anderson model with my pickups installed in it and I loved it and, um, and it was, I couldn't believe how, how good it sounded and it played great in the whole nine yards and then they're like, you know, we could make one for you if you want and we could do this and the next thing and so it just came to, came together organically and, uh, bada bing, bada boom. Can you dig it? But do 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 Bosco Cat says, I want to get that glorious gold top style with the P90s behind you. Well, that is uh, my Gristle 90, which has the new uh, signature pickups of mine from Fishman. The Gristle Tone P90s, which comes stock in this reverent instrument, which is called the Gristle 90. Uh, when you buy the, the Fishman pickups, FYI, as a standalone set of the P90s. It comes with more of the standard two volume, two tone controls that you would normally get for a guitar that has P90s, if you know what I'm saying. But when you, when you buy the Reverend uh, Gristle 90, it comes with the same control panel as the Gristle Master, which is more of a tele control panel, which has the lithium ion battery inside there. And the charging thing is on the bottom here, which we've discussed before. I'll put it on a little close up there, you can see it. There's a little mini USB thing right there. See that, folks? Let me see if it focuses in there. Anyway, that allows you to charge up the battery, uh, which lasts. Um, the Tele one lasts 300 hours. It's slightly less with the P90s. I guess the takes a little bit more juice for the P90s for whatever reason. But it's still an extraordinarily long period of time of plugged-in playing time. And uh, there you have it. So... This is the way these sound. Uh. This tone control, I get this out of phase on the middle. Come on, Mr. 
Mr. G-String. Mr. G-String. That was a good idea. And then, of course, bridge pickup of Doom and Destruction. That's what this sub be sounds like. It had a little heat to it. You got. Thanks so much for tuning in. Sorry, it's a little wacky today. We're a little scatterbrained from our from our great trip, <clears throat> but uh, thanks for tuning in, y'all. Thank you, Fishman, for all that you do and for sponsoring these broadcasts. Um, we will have a rerun on Friday, FYI, because um, uh, we will be out of town. So there you have it. Thanks so much for tuning in. Appreciate it immensely. 
Uh, that's my son Dylan on the drums. I'm one Gregory Cockery. Uh, Ryan Fitzsimmons on the sound and coordinations. Coordinations. How about that, Ryan? You can add that, add that to your your vast, uh, impressive dossier. Um, there you go. Coordinations. Got a plural there. All right. We'll see you later, folks. Bye bye.